hey what's up everyone welcome back to the channel i've just unboxed my iphone 17 pro max and on the left is my iphone 16 pro max which i've been using all this time and in this video i'm going to show you how to transfer all the data from this iphone to the new iphone 17 pro max so let's get started so swipe up select the language and select the country appearance this is for text and icon size you have three options default medium and large I would like to go ahead with default tap continue and quick setup iphone so if you have your old iphone you can just bring it closer to the new iphone and this pop-up would appear just tap continue here scan the face id or provide the passcode so here you need to scan the pattern that is appearing on the new iphone so just take the phone and scan it So you need to keep both the iPhones nearby until this process is completed. So here you need to select whether you're setting it up for yourself or you need to create a child account. So set up for me. So on the new iPhone, you need to enter the passcode of your old iPhone. It might take a few minutes to get activated, then transfer phone number. So you can transfer your eSIM from your old iPhone or if you have a QR code, you can scan or you can even set it up later. So I prefer to set it up later. And data iPhone. and privacy, tap Stop continue. Continuity. And face ID. You can set it up later or if you prefer to set it up now, just tap continue. Tap get started and scan your face. So just move your head around and face id is completed here tap on the first one if you're using a face mask or if you don't use just tap on the second option so that is completed just tap continue and transfer data from tech Council's iphone so that is my old iphone so if you're moving from uh, the iphone you can transfer all the data and settings directly to this iphone so keep your iphone nearby and connected to power until the transfer is completed so estimated transfer time is 15 to 20 minutes and i had around 200 gigs of data in my old iphone and it took about one hour for the transfer to complete agreed to the terms and conditions and it's signing you into the Apple ID. So here's everything coming from my old iPhone, apps and data, settings and wallet. So device added to your account, just tap OK and tap continue here. Update your iPhone automatically. I prefer to do it always manually, so only download automatically and turn on location services and stolen device protection turn this on i would like to do this later but i would highly recommend you to turn this on now and credit card so this is my credit card coming from the apple wallet in my old iphone so if you want it to be added just provide the security code and complete the setup apple intelligence so set up apple intelligence and i would like to summarize my notifications so here are the options communication and social and news and entertainment so select whatever you prefer and tap continue here turn on priority notifications so the important notifications will be shown in a separate section on the lock screen camera control so if you want light press to adjust zoom just enable it and tap continue so visual intelligence with camera control just tap continue here next siri so you can tap continue to set up siri and continue and type to siri just tap continue again and here you need to say what is being displayed on the screen just say everything and tap continue here you can share audio recordings with apple to improve siri so here are some instructions on how your iPhone can help you during an emergency. Just read through and tap continue. So that's it. Now the transfer of data from the old iPhone to the new iPhone has started. Initially, the estimated time remaining showed about three hours, but the transfer completed in about 45 minutes. After the data transfer has been completed, the new iPhone will restart. And it might take about a few minutes to boot up. So you will see this progress bar running on the screen, but it takes about a few minutes and after it is completed, you'll be able to use your new iPhone with all your old data. Once it boots up, it will directly land on hello screen. Here, just swipe up and you need to provide the passcode from your old iPhone. 
and that's it you have successfully completed the transfer of your data from your old iphone to the new iphone just tap continue next you will see a splash screen about apple pay you can continue to set it up or set up later next it will take you to the ios 26 onboarding screen it will show all the new features added to the ios 26 and you can just read through and tap continue and finally you're at welcome screen just tap get started so that's it guys you have completed all the steps in transferring your data from your old iphone now if you go back to your old device here it says device added to your account just tap ok and tap continue it will also give you the option to erase this iphone as you can see here so if you like you can continue and erase or you can just tap not now so you can still have all your data all your old data in the old iphone so i would highly recommend you not to erase right now until you make sure everything is transferred to the new iphone it will take a little while for all the new apps to be downloaded on the new iPhone and once everything is downloaded you will find all your data inside the app. So here for example the gallery app you'll be able to see all your images are transferred to the new iPhone. And if you come back to the home screen you will see that the icons arrangements are just as your old iPhone and the notifications it's just the same thing and also you'll see the same wallpaper added to the new iPhone. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will catch you in the next video.